right, and speaking of water, how many times do you think water is mentioned in the Bible? Wait, you know all <laughs> trivia, so you probably shouldn't answer. Well, I read ahead. <laughs> 683. I was close before. Yes, but more. 783. Not quite. 782, 781, 70. <laughs> 722 times water is mentioned in the Bible. Oh, it's you right know? there. I could have read the prompter. I'm so glad you didn't. You, sh you need to play at home. Yes. People at home. Okay. <laughs> you know, water is a big deal in the Bible. Not only is it a major topic in that passage in John, living water, it's an ongoing theme all throughout the Bible. The first time water is mentioned in the scriptures is in Genesis 1-2. The earth was formless and empty and darkness covered the deep waters. And the Spirit of God was hovering over the surface of the waters before there was anything. Light, sun, or moon, earth, planets, living creatures, or anything else, there was water. And 721 times later, the last time water is mentioned is in Revelation chapter 22, verse 17. The Spirit and the bride say, Come, and let him who hears say, Come, and let him who thirsts come. Whoever desires let him take the water of life freely. In the Bible, God uses water to spread many messages. Messages of purification, as we see in Ezekiel 26, 25. One example there, water also sends a message of cleansing. That's found in John 13, 10, among other places. Deliverance and rescue. Look in Genesis 7 and blessings from God. Take a look at Isaiah 44, 1 through 3. All of these topics with a united focus of water. Of course, water is needed for daily living. And as the weather warms this summer, staying hydrated is key. Tuesday, or today, we start our first of five health segments with naturopath Dr. Trudy Pieper. And today, we focus on the subject of water. Dancy has more. We are entering some of the hottest months. It's yes. hard to believe because as we're recording this, it's not so warm outside. But um, what is so important about getting that drink of water? You know, even in the Bible, doc, uh, you know, in Matthew, it talks about, I was thirsty and you gave me a drink. I mean, it was important even then that we know how important the, the water is to our bodies. Dehydration is, is a, one of the main reasons that people a lot of time have a headache mm -hmm. or they have fatigue. It's because they do not have enough water in their body. Mm -hmm. As little as 1% of, of, of loss of fluids from your body will make you dehydrated. As much as 9 to 12% can kill you. Wow. So that we don't realize how much the fluids mean in our body. You can go two to three, uh, you can go two months with no food, two to three days and you cannot make it without water. And sometimes we don't even have to feel that thirst either, do we? Well, no, we really don't. If you're feeling thirst, it's probably too late. Okay. That's one of the signs of, that you're dehydrated. Uh, you obviously, all of a sudden you're thirsty and we have a lag time in our bodies. So you, if you feel thirsty, you, all, you obviously need to be drinking water. Mm -hmm. And the amount of water, just by daily activities, breathing, usual bathroom activities, uh, a little bit of moderate exercise or just walking around and we lose three gallons of water a day. So how much should we be drinking then? Um, I, I'm sorry, three quarts of water a day. Oh, okay. Not gallons, that's a lot. Okay, three yes, quarts yes, of water a day okay. just from daily activities. When you think about it, if you're losing three quarts, you need to replace three quarts. So that for me is always the minimum. But the rule of thumb is six to eight, eight ounce glasses of water a day. For the average person. For the average person. Okay. And that doesn't always necessarily have to be water because people get tired of drinking water. Mm -hmm. That could be juices, anything that's non uh, caffeinated. I was going to say, you're going to have people out there that are going to say, oh, I, you know, just had a couple of big gulps or, you know, um, extra large oh, pops. Yeah. You know? It, that will do it. Okay. <laughs> because like, anything with caffeine dehydrates you. And it, so it's the opposite effect. So someone who has to have a cup of coffee, you better be drinking a cup of water to balance that out because the water, the, the uh, coffee will dehydrate you. And a lack of hydration also affects our blood pressure. Yes. It affects our energy level, as you said. Um, can cause balance issues. It does. And mm -hmm. a lot of times someone gets that slump at 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I think they need an energy drink. You really just need to drink. Um, people, you know, confuse also hunger with thirst. That's true. The lot of time if you feel hungry, you're probably just thirsty. It's another sign that when you need to drink, uh, when you get hungry, drink, and that'll solve that problem also. Okay. Some, some tips to help people to drink more, which is hard, 
It's if first thing in the morning, if you will just chug down some water, mm -hmm. the first thing in the morning, and then the last thing at the end of the day, that will increase the amount of water that you drink. Carry water with you everywhere you go. Um, think about putting a pitcher of water on your counter, with fill it with ice, and a few slices of lemon, lime, orange, strawberries, anything, and anything <laughs> to give it a little flavor and then you'll know at the end of the day you've, you've drank all that pitcher of water with a little bit of fruit flavoring and it will also help with that. Okay, Dr. Trudy Pieper, thank you so much for the advice. Appreciate it. My pleasure.